Attorneys for Low Country lawyer Alec Murdoch have called for a news conference for tomorrow. Their office says they will be discussing a newly filed motion for a new trial based on after discovered evidence. On March the 2nd, Alec Murdoch was convicted in the brutal murders of his wife Maggie and his son Paul. His attorneys, Dick Harputlian and Jim Griffin, will distribute copies of their new filing tomorrow morning. This afternoon, we talked to attorney Sloan Ellis, a former federal prosecutor and partner of Ellis Hinton Law, for some background on what this means. He says that Murdoch's lawyers will have to prove that their new evidence meets several criteria under South Carolina law, including the evidence would likely change the result of the trial. It was discovered after the trial took place. It could not have been discovered before the trial. It's related to the issue of guilt or innocence would be decided by the by the judge that heard the trial um, and there would likely be a hearing on it and as, if they have witnesses that uh, have firsthand knowledge of this newly discovered evidence they would call those witnesses the state would have a chance to rebut whatever evidence they put up the state would have a chance to cross-examine those witnesses so it would really be a, a separate hearing where the judge has got to consider all the evidence and determine whether or not those five factors have been met and Sloan Ellis adds that since Murdoch's case is already on appeal, his attorneys will first have to ask the Court of Appeals for a pause, then go back in front of the trial judge to hear their new motion for a new trial. In the news conference tomorrow afternoon, be sure to stay with WIFF News 4 for the very latest.